this M8 today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do some color block crochet in the easiest way possible. This method is the easiest and quickest method that I have ever developed. It's broken up in sections and if you use a 9 millimeter crochet hook and chunky yarn it works up so quickly. I worked up each square in less than 8 minutes and in less than 1 hour I worked up a whole strip. Using the moss stitch makes the blanket quite flexible and it has a soft drape and feels cushy. Is that a word? And again it works up super quickly and uses less yarn than a comparable sized blanket. This method could also be used to make sweaters and coats. Work up the entire project using only two colors as shown here. You work a square. Use any stitch you wish, any size you wish. I use the moss stitch. To make these easy color block blankets or afghans, I'm going to work squares and I'm just going to work continuous squares, adding a row of a contrasting color in between each block. So that way I don't have to sew all these blocks together. For my main color, I'm using this Burnett Softy Chunky Yarn, and it's a very thick yarn. You could use two strands of worsted weight yarn if you like, but this works up very quickly using this thick yarn and a 9 millimeter crochet hook. So now I'm going to skip these two stitches and I'm going to single crochet in the third stitch from the hook. And for the moss stitch, it's a chain one. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. I'm going to chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, all the way across the row. Okay, so that's the first row completed. For the next row, and for every row after, I'm going to chain two and turn, and I'm going to find that first chain one space and single crochet chain one, single crochet. Like that. And you're just going to keep working this until you have a square. And this is what it will look like. And this doesn't have to be a square. You can have a rectangle. You could have short blocks of color. It doesn't matter. So you're going to go ahead and work your square. And then when the square is the size that you like, you're going to change to your dark color yarn and then work a band of your contrasting color. And continue on with the color of your blocks and your blocks can all be different colors. So you're just going to continue and do another square and then do another band. And you're going to keep doing that until you've worked a strip that's the length that you would like your blanket or your whatever project you're making with these strips to be. Now after you have your long strips made, when you get to your last block, you're not going to add a band. So you crochet a band down the side on one side of the strip. Attach your contrasting color and single crochet in each stitch all the way down the side. And there's what it looks like with one row finished. So you're going to work as many rows as you need for it to be as wide as the bands that you have separating your colors. And there it is, four rows. And there's what it looks like with one row finished. So you're going to work as many rows as you need.
And then you crochet a band of double crochets all around four sides. You're going to attach your black yarn to make the band all the way around. So attach that. And I'm going to chain two, one, two. And I'm going to double crochet all the way around. So in every stitch all the way around, I'm going to make a double crochet. But in the corners, I'm going to do three double crochet to have a nice corner. So off we go, making one double crochet in each of the stitches. And I'm going to work up to a corner so I can show you how to turn the corner. Now here's my corner. Three double crochet in the corner stitch. One, two, three. And you can see I've turned my corner there. And now I'll just begin working down the other side. And I'm still doing one double crochet in each stitch all the way down. like that and if you want to make an additional row of double crochet you'll do the same thing and when you get to this center stitch in the corner you'll make three double crochet and so then you do that all the way around all four sides and here's what it would look like with a pink color and a green and a purple color So that's it. That's how easy it is to work this technique for color blocking without having to sew blocks together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.